As the thrilling second season of From unfolds, we find ourselves captivated by the enigmatic character of Fatima, the theory that we may be in a time loop and where nothing is as it seems regarding Fatima's true nature and her connection to the unfolding mysteries and some of the many questions we have. Fatima's presence in Framville has been filled with questions and secrecy. Her possible supernatural pregnancy, which defies medical expectations, speculations run and with theories suggesting that Fatima may give birth to a monstrous creature or that her baby might possess otherworldly qualities. But also could Fatima herself be the embodiment of darkness? Some viewers have pointed out striking physical similarities between Fatima and the evil monster that appears in episode 7, leading to speculation she may indeed be the monster in disguise. If she is, this brings many questions, hints and moments of surprise on Fatima's part when certain secrets are revealed, hint at a deeper involvement or hidden agenda. The intricate web of mysteries in From Season 2 extends beyond Fatima's character. Elgin, another key figure, has been the subject of time travel theories which water acting as a possible portal to the past. We have seen how maybe the faraway tree could be a possible doorway into the past and the way for the characters to start the time loop again. These theories connect with the speculation surrounding Fatima, suggesting a complex interplay of time, memory, and the true nature of the characters. We find ourselves questioning every twist and turn and also asking ourselves more questions than the answers that are given to us. The question that I have is if Fatima truly a force for good as some believe or does she have sinister intentions that could bring chaos to Framville? Is her pregnancy a key to unlocking the truth or does it hold darker secrets? In my breakdown, I discuss how every character is a key. But in this video, we go deeper into the theories, analyze the evidence, and offer insights on the intricate world. And offer insights into the intricate world of From Season 2. With only three episodes to live, we have a lot to discuss. My name is Christian from Beyond Premiere, and here's my deep dive on Fatima's betrayal and theories. And let's begin. Okay, so one of the central elements that has sparked intrigue and speculation surrounding Fatima is her supernatural pregnancy. In a town like Framville, where the residents are constantly on the edge and haunted by the evil forces in the town, the idea of bringing a child into such a danger environment seems unthinkable. Of course, Fatima's pregnancy defies medical expectations like she said, leading some of us to question its origin and potential implications, thinking that Fatima's baby may not be human adds another layer of mystery. If Fatima's child does possess otherworldly qualities, it could impact the dynamics of the town. But how is this possible? Well, this connects to the theory that she's the one at the end of episode 7. This is drawn attention to the physical resemblance between an evil entity shown in the episode and Fatima herself. From the similar face shape to the long wavy hair and, and the kimono, which is Fatima's preferred attire, this resemblance has fueled speculation that Fatima might be more than she appears. This theory raises questions about her intentions and whether she could be the very monster who worked for someone else. There's three things that are connecting. Number one, this new monster in episode 7 talk about leaving things to the end. Number two is the cave and the big red monster and the characters of Tavi as well as Jade. So all of these points are connecting more and more. All of this leads to a speculation that she may indeed be the monster. If she is, this brings many questions. Hints at moments of surprise on Fatima's part when certain secrets are revealed hint at a deeper involvement or hidden agenda. The intricate web of mysteries in season 2 as then beyond Fatima's character have caught the attention of the viewers. For instance, during the conversation with Donna, Fatima's expression betrays a sense of astonishment upon learning about trees that teleport individuals into dungeons. Is Fatima more knowledgeable about the mysteries of Framville that she lets on? Could she be the one that is pulling the strings from behind the scenes to serve someone that is hiding? We know back in season 1 where we saw the red monster. I would have to talk about that because what is that red monster? Who drew that? Or it means nothing and that's just the way that the kids in the town saw the monsters in the caves. Just a theory. But why? Why is that there? With the symbol next to that and the sim and the infinity symbol suggesting that this all might be a loop and that she they have to go infinitely 
many, many, many times and we're seeing what happens. That is a theory, but there's more that we have to talk about. This is something that Randall said in the last episode where, you know, there's some people that may be in it too. Beyond the theory surrounding Fatima's pregnancy and her potential connection to the mysterious entities in the town, there are other intriguing elements to consider. One such element as we know, it's Elgin experiences with water, which have sparked theories of time travel and alternate dimensions. In Elgin dreams and visions, water seems to play a significant role, acting as a potential portal or means of escape. In back in episode 3, we have seen him with Fatima talking about the water and so on, and how people have gone insane trying to find answers. This is something that I see Jim going through. Water could act as a potential portal or means of escape to the real world. Some viewers have speculated that Elgin could be Fatima's son and has somehow traveled back in time. This is another theory that I wanted to discuss in this video. And the water serves as a gateway to different points in history, but also we have the faraway tree. So hey, this is another point connecting. Elgin connection to water hold the key to understanding the larger mysteries of Frombill and the true nature of the characters. The presence of voices in the character's head as well as in the radio. All of these voices could be the echoes of deceased individuals influencing the actions and thoughts of the living characters. There's something about memory and remembering the past and remembering the future that has been a theme as well in this episodes and in this season. This suggests that the past and present may intertwine in unexpected ways. The symbols, visions experienced by characters like Boyd, Jade, Tabby are connecting to what is going on in Frumbill. The ballerina in Boyd's visions is something that the character of Elgin and Mary are seeing. So everything is connected and going from the episode 8 which is about focusing on those little details and as they are in front of you connects all of this really well. Throughout the season we have noticed a visual motif the pool's water level gradually rise. This yet significant detail has sparked speculation about its symbolism and the significance in the episodes and the story. We can create a theory about this as the racing water as a representation of the impending danger or a metaphor for the tension and uncertainty. As the water level increases, it creates a sense of unease, leaving viewers wondering what will happen when the water finally overflows. There's a reason why they show the pool in episode 7. Those are some of the questions and theories that I wanted to discuss in this deep dive. I will see you tomorrow for my episode 7 preview where I share some of the images and videos. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Christian from Being Premiere and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. One.